Hey guys, Generic Eric here. Just wanted to do another video on using RSS feeds to uh, basically consume all of your content. Uh, YouTube, Odyssey, um, any other RSS feed, blogs, uh, podcasts, things like that. So the last one I did was on how to do this with Thunderbird and I really uh, prefer to do this with Newsboat. It's a command line utility. It's really lightweight. Um, it kind of follows the Unix philosophy, do one thing, do it well, and it really does it well. So there's a few uh, things we need to do to get started. And uh, for some of this, I will credit, well, for a lot of it, I'll credit uh, Luke Smith with because I kind of steal a lot of stuff from him sometimes but uh let's see let's make this bigger is that good yeah i think that's good so the first thing we're going to want is a a link handler script which i will uh upload to github so you can get it so here it is and actually link handler and this is uh you're going to want this to be executable globally so um, you're going to want to add it to a place where you can execute script. So in my case, it's .local slash bin uh, slash link handler is where it's at. And you can look up on how to do that, or maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a video on how to do that. It's not too hard. Um, so this is the script for our link handler that Newsboat's going to use. And we're using MPV to play... Um, to play our video files and everything. So, and we're also going to be using a YouTube downloader, which is YouTube-DL. So, honestly, I don't use the actual uh, main YouTube downloader, uh, Program I use YouTube-DLP. It's got a lot of added fixes and uh, usability in there. I I enjoy using it much better, and I recommend using that one. Uh, for like Debian and like Ubuntu and stuff like that, I imagine you should just be able to apt get this stuff. So if you can't, you can search it out and maybe compile it yourself or whatever. But the other thing is newsboat so it's just in the in the pacman repositories you don't even have to use uh yay or whatever it's just right there just install newsboat you can get newsboat dash get it's up to you they're they're both gonna work so let's look at the there's two files that newsboat wants uh one is a config file and one is your urls so let's look at uh, let's look at the URLs first. So it's going to be in dot newsboat dash or slash URLs, and here's where I have everything. So here's all my Odyssey links. Um, you'll notice that here is the the link that Odyssey gives you. Odyssey actually gives you uh, an RSS link on uh, everybody's profile page. And then over here we have in quotes, this is the like the channel name that you want to show up. So you're gonna do, you know, the the curly guy and then you know channel name. Unless you just want the URL to show up in your interface, which whatever. Um for YouTube RSS feeds, um I'll send you over to the previous video I did with Thunderbird. I showed how to yank those out of this, the page's source code. So I'm not going to do that here. I'll put a link down in the thing. Um, you can also look at, you know, blogs. I've got some, like, Substack stuff here. Um, Luke Smith <laughs> has an RSS feed for, you know, the content he uploads to his website. And... These uh, quote, space, quote, that's just going to give me a blank line. I just kind of want a blank line between, you know, the, the different things. 
And then you can also use it for podcast RSS, anything RSS really. Um, Twitter, I don't know if you can actually do a straight up Twitter link, but uh, Knitter is an alternative that gives you a slash RSS uh, link. So, so that's the URLs. Whoop. And now let's look at the config. So normally you'd have auto reload on. That means that every time you launch Newsboat, it's going to uh, refresh all of your content and look for new stuff. Uh, the external URL viewer is going to be our link handler script. And then all this stuff is just so you can use Vim keys to navigate. And then there's color stuff that you can play with. I haven't really got it set up the way I really want it yet. But uh, so browser is going to be our link handler. And then we also have, you know, macros where macros in Newsboat is you're going to hold your uh, comma button and then whatever uh, letter here that we have. So for like comma V, it'll launch the video. I have it set for comma B is going to launch it in a browser. And we'll see why that's important here in a minute. All right. Another thing that could be useful is to set up a cron job to reload all this stuff. So you do a cron tab dash E. I have this set up to where every two hours it's going to run newsboat dash X reload and then send that off in the never never land. Um, that's just going to reload um, or do that refresh. So I don't do the refresh typically for uh, when I first get in there, because there's stuff to look at usually. If there's not, maybe I'll do a, a refresh while I'm in the program. But anyway, let's just check out the interface. Just type newsboat, or you can set up a hotkey and you know whatever window manager or desktop environment you're using. Um, usually I have it uh, as like super N, because I think that's Actually, I think that's what Larbs had uh, as default. Anyway, you can see that it shows up here with all of your uh, your URLs. Um, zero out of 51, that just means that all of them are red. So here's two out of 52. That means that there's two unreds in there. Um, to get into there, you just uh, L, you know, Vim keys to go over that way, you know, to the right. Um, Let's see, there's like, you know, hardware in box here has one. All right, so getting in here, so if we do, um, let's see, I think if we do O while we're sitting here, it should launch it unless, nope. Okay, so comma V. I'm a V. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wow, that's loud. Okay. Welcome back to Hardware Unboxed. Unbox. Today, Today we're taking a look at the ASUS RTX Ford. Yeah, so this is just a MPV uh, window. And, you know, you can full screen it or whatever you want. And as far as, like, launching, you know, stuff from like your blogs or whatever. Um, I'm just gonna use the browser for that. So the comma B. Didn't do it. Uh, I don't know why. Do I have a browser? Oh, I have a browser open on a different uh, workspace. Let's, uh, okay, we go to that workspace and it, you can see it opened it three times. <laughs> so if we get rid of that, we'll go to nine. 
So now if I comma V it, am I focused? Oh, I comma V it, comma, comma B for that macro there. Now we can see that it, that it just launches it and you can read it. So I'm still messing around with some of this stuff. Um, so podcasts, you can listen to podcasts. So here we got like Bill Burr's. We'll Is that not working anymore? That's weird. Huh. Yeah, I guess that one isn't really working. Maybe uh, it's not related to me. If there is one thing out there yeah, that Bill Gates hates even more than the fact that you didn't get your COVID-19 vaccine, it is anyway, population we'll play it, you know in the it's the fact that there are interface. more people on this planet than there ever have you to get rid of that sorry for the noise i think i'll uh i'll try to edit that post anyway uh i'm gonna upload this stuff to github so you can play with it and just kind of look what i have and uh hopefully be able to you know get her going and everything but Anyway, that's all I had. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one. God bless.